Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Hudgens with Dodd RV, located in Yorktown, Virginia. Family owned and operated since 1956. Today, we're looking at a brand new 2021 Keystone Passport 3400 QD. Two slide outs, great bunk room. Um, that's where we're looking right now. Four large bunk beds in a slide out. So a huge bunk area. Um, it's a must see. So great new floor plan. Uh, let's get started and take a look. Hey guys, real quick, watch till the end of the video. I'll show you a quick clip with the slide outs in so you have an idea of what you do and don't have access to uh, when traveling. So watch to the end, check out the slide outs in, and also if you've not yet already, please give me a quick thumbs up. Also subscribe, hit the bell, hit that notification. That'll give you a notice every time a new camper goes on. You can be the first one to see new floor plans, new products, new decors. Uh, so make sure you hit that bell. Thanks again for watching, Scott Hudgens, RV. All right, starting on the inside. You'll see the harbor decor. Nice wide open bedroom area. Uh, the most popular item here uh, is their new bunk area. So that's where we'll start. You have four bunks in this slide out. There are four of the larger bunks that you'll see built-in ladders, the end bunks fold up and out of your way for storage, you have a cubby hole, you have USB and their own lights, top and bottom, nice thick teddy bear mattresses, they are directly across from the TV Plenty of wardrobe space, storage down low. More hanging area, and they have their own door so you can enter and exit from there. Nice large wardrobes. Second AC. So great new four bunk slide out area. Bunks have a 300 pound limit on each one. Receptacles throughout. They have their own door that will close off the bunk area. Moving into the living area. We'll take a look at the setup and breakdown of the booth dinette. You have two pedestals on the bottom. Table pops right up out of the way. You can store those poles underneath. Um, or under the bed, wherever is more comfortable. There is a lip that the table sits on and rests. There's your setup. You can remove these corner cushions to get a little bit more depth. Setting it back up. And folks, this is normally the best way for it to travel in the down position so it doesn't move around. Lift the table up. And now you're all set up ready to eat. You do have receptacles throughout, USB charging areas, nice pantry area. Drawers, your bathroom, it does have the corner glass enclosed shower, overhead skylight, exhaust vent, plenty of storage, corner toilet, again stepping up inside, I'm 6'5", I got plenty of room, I am right at the edge, uh, so you see I got about 4 inches before I'm up in the dome of the skylight. You'll see you have receptacles, storage underneath, 
nice shades lighting over top that's recessed so more headroom we'll also take a look at the sofa setup all right real quick setup and breakdown of the sleeper sofa velcro backs Pull from the bottom, just fold the legs out, you can't put storage, you can put those cushions, your linens, and there's your bed set up. Very easy setting it back up, and also you have plenty of room at the foot of the bed, so I know you can't see it now, but you can walk across and get in and out on either side of this bed. So you've got about two feet at the foot of the bed. Setting it back into a sofa. Store your sheets, pillows, linens inside. Fold those legs in. Utilize that Velcro. And there's your tri-fold sleeper sofa. Again, sofa is directly across from the TV. TV is on a swivel arm, so it does come out, so you can angle it. IRV technologies, you can sync your phone to that. Control the zones, the music. Kitchen area, countertop extension, flush mount cover. You do have a large stainless steel sink. Extended spray head, nice storage. Flush mount range does act as a splash guard. You have exhaust for the range and your microwave. Nice deep storage. Dometic gas electric refrigerator. Again, storage down low. Above the TV area, more storage. Your main living area, air conditioner, is ducted throughout. Your convenience area, control your slides, your awning, your lighting, check all your holding tank levels. Nice large pantry area that does have a light. Then going into the bedroom again, pocket doors that will close off. Large queen walk around bed. You do have storage underneath. Shocks that hold that up. You do have receptacles and USB on both sides. You do have a TV area you can hook up in the master bedroom as well. And wardrobe hanging and overhead storage with cabinets. So brand new 2021 Keystone Passport 3400 QD. And we'll move to the outside and take a look out there. All right, moving to the outside, nice front cap, power tongue jack on the front, spot for two batteries. You are prepped for solar. Nice, wide open, large pass-through storage, very clean. Magnetic latches. Moving around your two slide outs. Your 50 amp power connection is here. The spare tire, uh, the 3400 has the rear entry, so your stairs that fold down. Steps fold up. And fold right up into the back. So that would be the entryway into the bunks. You are prepped for backup camera by Voyager. Friction hinge on the door, so where you leave it is where it stays. Nice passport logo on the back. Your hot and cold outside shower.
full length power awning, LED lights, outside speakers, nice aluminum rims, hook up outside for a TV. They give you a spot where you can mount a bracket even if you like. You do have a black tank flush. Your outside kitchen area, you've got a electric refrigerator, two burner range, gives you a nice little workstation. Also on the main entry, again friction doors, you see the step above entry steps. They fold right up into the camper. Again, extended season, 3400QD. You do have all four corner power stabilizer jacks, which your controls are here inside of your storage, other side of your pass through. Passport has a dry weight of 7,740 pounds. You're looking at three year structural warranty. Your brand new 2021 Keystone Passport GT Series 3400 QD. All right, as promised with the slide outs in, you see, you do not have access to the bathroom, but you can still fully access the refrigerator, the kitchen, uh, the bedroom. The back doors are actually blocked as well. So you're, you're gonna have to put the slide out um, eight to 10 inches to get into the bathroom. Also, nice LED lights we didn't see before. So slide outs in, your access.